Hello friends, members, subscribers, students, welcome. Very, very special day today as uh, I had a pair of workshop right now, but uh, the student got late, confused the time. It happens when we are across the seven seas. So I decided to take this time and to come and speak to you about the upcoming lunar eclipse. That's happening on the 5th of May, 2023. Now, this is the first lunar eclipse of 2023, all right? And this is known as Vaishak Purnima, right? Shukla Paksha Purnima, very, very powerful for sadhana, for siddhis, all right? Sattvic siddhis, rajasic siddhis. This is happening in the sign of Libra. The nakshatra movement is from Swati to Vishakha. It's happening on a Friday. So a very good day for Devi worship. And when Purnima has come on Friday, it's a very, very special. And uh, this is also Vesak. Vesak is a Buddhist holiday. It is Buddha's birthday. So happy birthday, Buddha. Shakya Muni, Gautam Buddha. Tithi begins on the 4th May at uh, 11.44 my time, ends 5th May, 11.04 p.m. Now, uh, Amrit Kal is from 12.50 p.m. to 2.26 p.m. So this time, sadhana is done uh, of devatas who respond at this time is the best idea. So for this uh, special offering that I have for you is Chaur Ganpati Sadhana. If you are interested to know more about Chor Ganpati Sadhana, then drop me an email. Uh, if you have uh, the Siddhi of this, no one will be able to steal anything from you. Uh, also, Chor Ganpati Sadhana, which has two parts. One is the protection part, so you protect yourself so no one can steal. The other is the stealing part. So, uh, you know, uh, if you are interested, I don't teach the stealing part, but how to protect yourself and it is not only physical material things that can be stolen your beauty can be stolen your youth can be stolen um, your talents can be stolen and i don't speak metaphorically so uh, sun is an aries of course in bharani nakshatra exact degrees 21 degrees aries libra polarity Libra is ruled by Venus, Aries is ruled by Mars, right? Um, in Aries, the sun is exalted. In Libra, Saturn is exalted. And Swati is the exactitude of Saturn's exaltation. Uh, and uh, it's, it's very, very interesting to see how uh, we react with Aries, which is me and Libra which is us so there's this thing of having to lose something in the way we interact with people and Libra is the natural seventh house of the zodiac so you know by and large it deals with interpersonal relationships so uh, now we come on to Mangal is debilitated in Libra so you can understand that you know action how we take action how we are decisive about something that can suffer all four padas of uh, swati are in libra ruled by rahu okay and um, it's a 15th nakshatra actually swati by itself means means independent self-sustainable okay but there is a very delicate energy about swati okay uh, and it's also very disparate, contradicting, conflicting, which is not easy. Symbol is a plant shoot being blown by the wind. Now remember that saplings are delicate. They need protection, suraksha ghera. All right. But the saplings that survive can one day, and they have the potential to become big, powerful old trees. So remember that there is a surviving spirit, there is a fighting spirit, there is a flex flexible aptitude of Swati. Uh, rooting is very essential during this time. So rooting practices focus on the Muladhara and sadhanas connected to Muladhara. Uh, 
uh, huge obstacles are going to come okay for not just us as individuals but for countries for peoples okay it's going to be a challenging time coral the you know the coral that grows in the sea is also a symbol of swati and uh, corals actually grow by themselves they they don't need any outside interference to grow vayu vayu is the presiding deity and vayu is wind okay pavan now air has no shape and can fit in any mold can blow any ways right can stop blowing can seize momentum can pick up and gather momentum so keep that in mind it's extreme flexibility second deity is saraswati so saraswati is also incidentally in tantra the deity used for vashikaran so this eclipse is a powerful uh, time to do vashikaran on yourself on your lower self on your greed your lust your anger your selfishness do vashikaran on yourself rahu is always uh, about mis- the mysterious and brings mysteries right deep mysteries and saraswati also rules rahu by the way so rahu's uh harmonics that sync with the goddess saraswati are displayed in this particular nakshatra so saraswati sadhana neela saraswati sadhana uh tara sadhana tara is none other than neela saraswati also i have a tara uh, kit sadhana upasana tantric kit prepared energized for 11 days in in uh, the client's name if you are interested drop me an email um but there is an indecisiveness and you know unstable the energy is exceedingly unstable so we've got to stabilize swati is a show off rahu plus venus equals to indulgence so but very good at social skills now the moon is taking in all of this energy is from swati and transferring them onto vishakha and this is where the eclipse exacts two branch 16th nakshatra divided polarity again it's about making choices right think of the two of swords in the tarot if you do tarot it's also kind of a gateway you know the because the symbol is literally a gateway like we have before marriages so it it immediately connotes luxury celebrations displaying material wealth two deities indra and agni three padas of vishakha fall in libra and that is the more indra side of things one pada in scorpio that is the agni side agni is morally very very uh, solid a solid deity agni you know whereas indra, indra has a dubiousness and um, in fact indra can go to any lens to get what he wants he he does not get and uh, this also shows that uh, indra can do good karma and bad karma for which he has to suffer of course bad karma we all have to suffer yeah uh, so this but he will do it when the time comes so this this we can feel this polarity and um, very fond of money and sex so desires and fulfillment if you ask me for the keywords of this eclipse desires and fulfillment uh during this time aghor mahalakshmi sadhana is also very powerful so that's something you could try agni is such a solid character and and as the scorpio vishakha they display this you know and like i said three other three beginning padas 1 to 3 are in libra now let us discuss a bit about um i don't want it to get too long let us discuss a bit about how this will affect uh the su- the signs go from your ascendant to moon signs kedar yoga is being formed seven planets in four rashis forms kedar yoga At this time it's happening after 500 years Aries this is your 7th house eclipse sun is with you so eclipse is a subtraction you know so like relationship related something to do with relationships marriage partnerships 
something will go but let it go make space for something new okay something new is also approaching so fear not uh, taurus take care of your health take care of domestic animals if you have any take care of your food intake and exercise that you're doing gemini um, protect your children uh, protect uh, your creative ideas work with them even though you know the the downloads can be very heavy you can feel extremely enervated but pursue pen down your thoughts during this eclipse cancer family foundations solid like you know something unexpected in the family and uh, no matter how stressful it gets take a deep breath uh, Leo how you communicate the way you come across it can it, it can be misconstrued so again the way you communicate siblings also come into focus Virgo it's about your self-worth not only the money you have in the bank okay or in, in your digital wallet it's also about your sense of self-worth there's something you need to let go about that because you're not making space for something new form a new image if you're not happy with what you have uh, Libra something about your physical body your habits your mindset it's going to change okay uh, embrace the change embrace the change and turn towards a more spiritual and a more profound lifestyle you know uh, Scorpios it's gonna feel pretty pretty deep dreams uh, energetic disturbances you know energetic um, attacks also right you may want to be secluded at this time you you may want to be near a water body to replenish and it's okay perfect time to plan a retreat do some spiritual practices uh, Sagittarius larger networks okay something about the way people maybe see you on social media it's going to change okay something about the way you present yourself your your understanding of humanity and you are a great humanitarian so something about that is going to shift Capricorn major changes are coming up with regards to your profession keep abreast of the changes but don't worry too much because you know Capricorns you need to make things extra heavy and you don't need to do it turn towards spirituality Capricorn uh, if you feel so compelled do bear of sadhana uh, Aquarius again if if you were planning a trip to far away seas uh, to distant seas of far away lands uh, it, it may be disappointing if you were looking for a visa it may be disappointing even if you're look, looking to hear from a publisher but this could also mean that they give you inputs and in how you can change your script how you can change uh, the reason for wanting to go somewhere okay and uh, wherever you were thinking of going even if the, that falls through you will be able to manifest something solid so don't worry uh, Pisces think about your taxes you know it's anyway that time of the year think about your taxes think about energy clearance and think about your inheritance also if if something was coming to you it may get delayed or uh, maybe the amount you were expecting it doesn't pan out that way but hold your horses something amazing is coming your way believe me so this was my small little uh, input about this eclipse and as I said that with the Shapit Yoga and the Guru Chandal Yoga happening this is the time to turn spiritual during the eclipse any mantra if it's Guru Mukhi and energized the mantra will uh, give you 10,000 times more benefit during the eclipse don't uh, cut your nails don't wash your hair don't sleep don't eat okay and um, rest this is a very good time for mantra ucharan so uh, if you feel attracted to Bhairav, 
surrender to Bhairav, you, it can be Kal Bhairav, if you find Kal Bhairav too scary, then surrender to Batuk Bhairav and just say, Bam Batukaya Namaha 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 Also with the Shrapit Yoga and this Guru Chanda, a lot of uh, negative entities are going to attack. Curses, uh, black magic, kala jadu, jadu tona, all of this will happen. So protect yourself, surrender to Baba Pero. Before I go, I will sing to you the one mantra, which is a Shabri mantra. It is a very powerful Siddh uh, mantra to destroy the Mashan, Masani Chok. Okay, some say Mashan, so you can also say Masan, Masani Chok. Okay, which is a kriya that has been put on you uh, as a curse or your family or something. So listen to the recitation. Uh, I'll do it three times. Maybe I don't want to keep the video too long. And if you are interested to learn Shabari Vidya, then please drop me an email. There are very few teachers of Shabari Vidya and I, I think I'm possibly the only one teaching Shabari Vidya in English. So, uh, all of this information is very rare. Immerse yourself. Kal bhairava kapila jad bhairava Chaukata sthana me bhojana kara Raja raj kari kal bhairava bata tera roop Tere ko dikhaungi me google ki dhup Jat jodi jaha bheje vaha jana Bandh ma ki bahattar kothari me ghus jana जंजीर वाले की जंजीर खोलना भूत पलित का चौका उखाड़ना चुड़ैल दासी न माते की चौकी उखाड़ना बड़े बड़े देवी देवताओं की चौकी उखाड़ना ताल भी मेरे घर फेंक देना जो ना फेंक दे तो सके माँ के घाट पर जाएगा गुरु की शपथ मेरी भगत Puro mantra Ishwara Vacha Kal Bhairava Kapila Jad Bhairava Chaukata Sthan Me Bhojan Kar Raja Raj Kari Kal Bhairava Bata Tera Roop Tere Ko Dikhaungi Me Gukul Ki Dhup Jat Jodi Jaha Bheje Vaha Jana Bandama Ki Pahattar Kothari Me Ghus Jana Janjir Wale Ki Janjir Kholana भूत पलित का चौका उखाड़ना चुड़ैल दासी न माते की चौकी उखाड़ना बड़े बड़े देवी देवताओं की चौकी उखाड़ना ताल भी मेरे घर फेंक देना जुना फेंक दे तो सके माँ के घाट पर जाएगा गुरु की शपथ मेरी भगत फुरो मंत्र ईश्वर उवाचा काल भैरव कपिला जड़ भैरव चौकट स्थान में भोजन कर राजा राज करी काल भैरव बता तेरा रूप तेरे को दिखाऊंगी मैं कुकुल की धूप जात जोड़ी जहाँ भेजे वहाँ जाना बंधमा की बहत्तर कोठरी में घुस जाना जंजीर वाले की जंजीर खोलना भूत पलित का चौका उखाड़ना चुड़ैल दासी न माते की चौकी उखाड़ना बड़े बड़े देवी देवताओं की चौकी उखाड़ना ताल भी मेरे घर फेंक देना चुना फेंक दे तो सके माँ के घर घाट पर जाएगा गुरु की शपथ मेरी भगत फुरो मंत्र ईश्वर उवाचा